Thank you. Where's my mic tech at? Who hooked me up there? That was you? Who plugged my mic in for me? Thank you very much. We're Bane from Boston. It's good to be back. <laughs> good to be back in town. Look, Link's trying to fix it. So, kind of a sad day today. <laughs> Rapper from the 80s, Heavy D, died today. Overweight lover died today. Smoking Joe Frazier, heavyweight boxer, died a couple days ago. It's been a rough week for soulful brothers. So we're going to play a song dedicated to them. I named it after Joe Frazier. It's called Ali vs. Frazier. It's about a boxing match. First time they met, Ali dragged his name all through the mud in the media. I guess Joe Frazier wasn't the most articulate guy. He wasn't a big, flashy, you know, want the camera in his face kind of dude. He just wanted to fight. And Ali tried to defeat him emotionally by calling him out and challenging him publicly and putting him in awkward spots. Frazier just hung back, kept his mouth shut, and when fight night came, he beat Muhammad Ali's ass and won the title. I wrote that song about ha this song about having that type of attitude with everything that you face, with whatever you want to conquer. This for Smoking Joe. <laughs> Yeah! 
through the death of someone close to them, of someone they loved very much and who got snatched away too soon, unexpectedly, and you're stuck with a whole bunch of shit you'd wish you'd said, wish you'd done different, wish you'd, you'd told them. And that's a hard thing to carry. And I've been through that more than a few times. And I've learned that there's nothing, that the guilt you don't need to carry that guilt. That's just the way that life is. People die and get taken away from us, and there's no way we can ever truly appreciate what we have. We're just not wired to figure it out until it's too late. So don't let that guilt wear you down and break you down. You did what you could while you were here. Try to love the people that you have while they're here. And that's all that we can do. There isn't any big lessons to be learned in death. Just that nothing is forever, that's it. Okay, now, on to brighter topics. <laughs> Pull it out of the gallows a little bit. The song's about friendship. It's called Woulda, Coulda, Shoulda. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
hard? That's how I broke it the last time. So that was beautiful. That's what we like. Kids circle pitting, having fun, smiles on their faces. That's what it's about for us. Get concerned. <laughs> I think it's concerning when you look out on the dance floor and you see a kid with the most enraged, upset, aggressive look on his face, clenched fist, not moving with the rhythm at all, having a seemingly no relationship with the music, just there to hurt something, someone, that always worries me. And I like that we come down here, we can play these shows and have kids smiling, and having fun, girls feeling invited, younger kids. Why do I want to get hurt? So, 10 years ago, we put out a record called Give Blood, which is crazy. 10 years, we're buying a blank. And our buddy, Sam, from down here in Florida, he runs Triple B Records. He decided he was going to put out a 10th anniversary edition limited vinyl collector geek thing. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
We're going to do two more songs. <coughs> this has been fun. Thank you guys so much for coming out again. I know we were at the same venue last year. We were real late then. We were late today. We apologize. Was there, was there an opening local band today? Hive Mind. Thank you guys. If you guys are still around, thank you so much for setting this off tonight. We apologize. We didn't get to catch your set. In this tour that we're on, um, today's the last day we were driving away from our homes. After tonight, we start driving back east. Every day we get a little closer to home. We have about 10 days left. This has been a long tour. It's been a lot of fun. I want to thank everyone involved. Thank you so very much. To get in path, give it up. Miles away from Australia, far, far from home. <laughs>